Do women need testosterone as part of their HRT? You're gonna thicken the heart, but this is the result of bodybuilding. And maybe cause oxidative stress, which is also... Does TRT shrink your balls? If you take off the plug, what happens? You need to resurrect from zero. So what do you think, George? Can you still have kids on TRT? With very low initial testosterone levels, you don't have the energy to train because being fat makes you thicker over here and this leads to obstructive sleep apnea. What happens if you stop TRT? Well, that's a nightmare because I just could not imagine lowering my DHT, lowering my libido just for the sake of hair. Does TRT shrink your balls, according to... Yes, it does. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Well, according to homeostasis, when you give one hormone, the body doesn't produce. So this is the result either of primary hypogonadism, when testosterone is low and LH is high, when your balls are small and you have a testicular failure, but also when you administer testosterone and anabolic steroids, then you diminish the size of the squatum and of the balls of right. the testicles and also the ejaculation volume. This is how bodybuilders and racing horses become sterilized. But they're doing extreme amounts and not every man that does TRT, they don't shrink. I used to hear, hear an endocrinologist say, you'll, you'll shrink your balls the size of grapes, but you don't see them that well, small. I, I quit the HG after one year, one year now after became a father, well, I would say perhaps 50%. My wife noticed that, that we were much bigger, you know, yeah. fuller. With HCG? Yes, of course, yes. So it does make a difference, HCG, to improve it? It does. All right. So what do you think, George? Can you still have kids on TRT? Yes, if you, you can preserve fertility with HCG, even HMG, and occasionally, very rarely, if you start out of 100 million spermatocytes with testosterone, within a year you can conceive, yes. We have few cases that people without even HCG, they have let pregnant their wives or their partners, okay? But you definitely, if you want to preserve fertility, you need HCG. But if you want to boost fertility, you need a combination of HCG and HMG. Okay. So some people have this thought, does TRT cause heart attacks? If you have a heart problem before, TRT is not a magic bullet. Nevertheless, testosterone helps the heart, the optimal levels of testosterone, through three main mechanisms, okay, nitric oxide, vasodilation of coronaries, better inotropic function because they optimize calcium and magnesium that are necessary and vital for muscle contraction, and improving the labs by lowering A1C and lowering uh, LDL out of visceral fat oxidation. And we know from the Traverse study, that was what, over 5,000 men following them for several years, showed that there was no risk of increased heart attack and the FDA has removed yes. testosterone as being causative of, of heart attack and, yes. and stroke. Now, on the use of testosterone, we apparently elevate blood pressure through aldosterone kick, we lower HDL, and occasionally with vigorous heavy lifting, you're gonna thicken the heart, but this is the result of bodybuilding. And maybe cause oxidative stress, which is also throwing off the, the healthy balance. Yeah. So TRT versus natural <laughs> boosters. I think we know the answer. The main benefit of TRT is the steady testosterone levels. Yeah. Unlike the natural testosterone that fluctuates. Right. Okay, you wake up with high testosterone, it crashes as the day goes by, and you don't have steady levels. Well, the main benefit, of course, of the cream is more stable that you have any time of the day steady levels. Of course, they a little bit differentiate and fluctuate, but not as the natural ones that may go up and down according to your feelings. Especially if you're using boosters like deaspartic acid and these others, those are quite short-lived and not going to really cause... Uh, yeah, I'll give benefit. you an example. If you stay up all night with a natural testosterone, you're screwed. Yeah. If you stay up all night with an injection of testosterone, you don't have a problem because you take your exogenous dose and no matter what, you have filled up your tank. What happens if you stop TRT? Well, that's a nightmare because think of first, think first, why did you start in first place? Because of low levels. Yeah. Then, as you administrate, those low levels will diminish. And think after that, if you take off the plug, what happens? You need to resurrect from zero. So it's going to be a nightmare. And I doubt after years of suppression, when the initial levels were very low, you're not gonna, I mean, I tried during the COVID for one month and after one month, my LH was zero. Oh God, yeah. Okay, and my testosterone levels were also zero because my tank, my, my testosterone that was administrating, it lowered eventually. And I was, I was feeling, I was experiencing all the symptoms of hypogonadism. 
They're not nice. Yes, of course. So yeah. you shouldn't stop it. The same reason you shouldn't stop your T4 yeah. when you're hypothyroidic. You, you need it and you just you stay on it and you enjoy your high quality of life. Yes. Okay, so now some of the endocrinologists are talking about using peptides like Manjaro, Tazepatide instead of TRT. Yeah, but listen, this is um, apple and oranges. I mean, the only peptide that kicks testosterone is HG. Yeah. All right, but Manjaro or Trulicity, or uh, how you call it? Um, Trulicity, yeah. Trulicity or Ozempic, they just work on the cut of appetite. What has to do with testosterone? Now, eventually, if you, if you lower weight, your yeah. fat, yes, but the tricky thing about using semaglutide is in the deprivation of food and starvation, you waste your muscle. If you waste your muscle, your, your fat accumulates that creates, again, insulin resistance. Okay. All right, so, and one other thing is that with very low initial testosterone levels, you don't have the energy to train. Yeah. You have the you don't have the energy to diet. Nothing is burned out from food because of low testosterone. Okay, thyroid helps, but you don't have, your batteries are empty. Right. So you need the combination of testosterone and semaglutide in order to diet well and train well. Because just dieting doesn't doesn't help, of course. Diet kills the muscle. But training preserves the muscle, muscle. okay? And in order to train, you need energy out of testosterone. So what should you do first? If you have sleep apnea, and you're, uh, do you fix the testosterone? So I had a case of 60 year old guy that already he's overweight with low testosterone, he uses the mask. Keep yeah. using the mask, drop the weight, okay? Because being fat makes you thicker over here and this leads to obstructive sleep apnea and make it worse. Was he also on testosterone? No, but he needs to be because he had 295. So, so it could be contradictive, but he has the mask also. Yes. Like he should keep using it. And, and also replace his testosterone levels for better health. Yes. Now, taking the mask was the best decision I did. Yeah. And you keep telling me that for years. I told years. you for years I do. I take it as and well. And your now, sleep is better. Yeah, yes, you look well. Yes, much better. And hopefully my hematocrit is not elevated. It should help. It doesn't always, but it should help. It helps because Obama claim believes that most of the cases are because of sleep apnea. Yeah. No, because many, another yes, factor yes, of, of secondary throcytosis. Yeah. The sleep apnea. The other is the altitude. Yeah. And sometimes for me it was the NAC. So what are your thoughts of DHT and it's, it's, uh, as a cause of hair loss? And how do you, do you kill your DHT to keep your hair? Well, if you're prone to it, I'm using DHT. Well, I quitted DHT recently, but I was using it 10 years straight. What? I don't have a hair loss because my dad and my grandfather had hair. So it's purely uh, genetic predisposition. Do you think related. people should go and block their DHT in order to keep it? Well, their hair? that's the plan. Go to a dermatologist, it gives you finasteride, dutasteride. Actually, dutasteride is even more potent. Yeah. That kills the DHT or even progesterone, it's antagonistic to DHT. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is, you're right. Yes. And then you throw up some minoxidil and ketoconazole that blocks DHT locally and minoxidil improves the blood flow, plus some biotin that improves the the metabolism of the of the hair. But it throws off the analyzer when you go to do a blood test for yeah. testosterone and make sure you that yeah. high levels. So that's a plan to kill the DHT, but DHT then kills your sex drive and your mood. Yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's multifaceted and I, I've read that the DHT is on the scene but not necessarily causative and yet when we block it for some reason is, is there's, there's some other factors that, that it also blocks uh, when you inhibit the DHT and I, I just could not imagine lowering my DHT, lowering my libido just for the sake of hair. So you learn to live with it and you have to choose and there'll be future treatments hopefully that will push the hair into the growth phase over the blocking the DHT. No. Her dog believes that the combination of DHT blockers plus testosterone is even more beneficial for the hair rather than monodose of DHT blockers. Yeah. Why? Because testosterone has two main functions. It gives you hair loss, but it gives you thicker hair on the in your body. body. If yeah. you block the equation from testosterone to DHT, then you have the result of thicker hair in your hair. Along with, so testosterone with dutasteride will give you permanent hair in six months rather than using the, the test right itself. But you Plus, you're going to avoid the depression and the lack of sex drive. Because essentially, you're just pushing the testosterone higher than what it would have been on yeah, your own. Yeah, but you cut off the equation, so you don't have the hair loss, but right. you have the thicker hair in your body. In your body. Interesting. <laughs> All right. So do women need testosterone as part of their HRT? Testosterone is number three in, in matter of importance in women's HRT. So women just don't use TRT itself. It's 
estrogen, progesterone, and then and comes and then testosterone. testosterone. Well, some say that you're going to replace the testosterone out of DHEA that will convert right. to testosterone. But in the States, they also use around 20 milligrams per week of testosterone. That low, either injectable or down in clitoris with, with a cream. One or one percent, let's say. Well, you know, testosterone also can protect the female urethra as well. It protects from uh, UTIs if you have enough testosterone for a woman. So I think, yeah, it is important for women and to have testosterone as part of the HRT mix. It improves dramatically the depression, the lack of sex drive, and the osteoporosis. So it's more and the than wasting. So it's more than just libido. It's protective also against breast cancer having testosterone in the mix. When uh, you you know well that bones need estrogen, that's why testosterone is very helpful to the bones. Because you get a little extra aromatization into estrogen as well. So hopefully you found this video informational and helpful. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and, and like. And we'll see you next time to your health, to your wellness, and to your happy erections.